Hi everybody, today we're going to be unpacking the Elago Upgraded Electronics Fun Kit. This should have been part of the package that you purchased from the bookstore, uh, along with other devices that we have videos posted uh, on Avenue to Learn. So, let's get at her and see what's inside this thing. Uh, never run with scissors. So... Inside this lovely package, we have a lovely little descriptor card of everything that's supposed to be inside. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what's this? This is a little thank you for buying the item. It comes with uh, male to female uh, jumper wires for components in the kit. It looks like there's 20 of them there. It comes with uh, various resistors. Uh, these are all quarter watt resistors. And uh, they are uh, 10 ohms, 100 ohms, 220 ohms, 330 ohms, 1K, 2K, 5.1K, 10K, 100K, and 1 meg. So that's a, a good combination of resistors. You can take these and you can combine them in series and parallel circuits and basically make the value that you want. We have a, uh, a bag of uh, mixed LEDs. Uh, in total, I believe there's 50. There should be 10 of each color. So there's clear, yellow, blue, green, and red. We have a uh, bag of capacitors. These are, uh, I believe these are 100 microfarad capacitors. There's 10 of them in there. This is a, uh, a breakout board. Uh, this is, goes onto the breadboard, and I'll show that in a minute. I'll just put this aside and I'll address this again. We have here some more jumper wires. Uh, these are male to male for uh, flexible jumping on the breadboard. Uh, a little pack here with, uh, let's see, what do we have in here? We have two, uh, two, uh, Two photo uh, photoresistor devices. We have a, a thermal device, and we have five diodes. We have a, a couple of header strips here, which allow you to uh, to attach them to custom boards or devices. Uh, we have here a uh, a 10k ohm variable resistor, and both a piezo and a electromagnetic buzzer in this bag. Uh, this is another wiring kit. This is rigid wiring, again, for the uh, for the breadboard, and I'll show you that again in a second. Uh, these are 10 puff capacitors. I believe there's 20 of these. Uh, 10 little push buttons. Uh, these are uh, single, uh, single pull, double throw push buttons and some various electronic devices. We've got uh, four 2N2222 two 22, 22, uh, NPN transistors. This little uh, white six-pin dual inline package is an optical isolator, and this 16-pin uh, this dual inline package is an 8-bit shift register. Not too sure what we're going to use those for, but they're nice to have. And then finally, uh, I'll get rid of the box, we have the uh, the breadboard, which is where everything gets assembled onto. So this is this is the breadboard. It has uh, along the top and on the bottom. It has bus strips. So this this bus along the top and the red one below it, and the same thing, the red one here and the blue one. These are common. Uh, typically, we jumper negative to negative, positive to positive. So you only have to put the power on one rail. But we have this lovely header here which will connect directly to this. Uh, if I do it right. Side, uh, thusly, uh, this one was a little stiff. Uh, and this allows you to hook up the Elego power, or the, uh, the Sol Bay power supply to power the breadboard. And uh, there's an on off switch. There's some jumpers here for 3.3 uh, volts or five volts. So if you need to put five volts on individual pins, you can do that. But right now, the way it's configured, these rails will now be powered once you plug in your power supply. And there's a convenient USB output as well. So typically at this point, you would put in, let's say, uh, 12 volts into here. So you would put 12 volts 
uh, into here you would get 5 volts regulated out and the USB out and I believe there's LEDs on here as well that, that light up when you, uh, when you turn on the device. So now these jumpers here allow you to jumper uh, across the board. Uh, these ones allow you to jumper from external devices into the board and the, uh, the rigid jumpers allow you to put down hard wires that you won't be moving. So when you complete a circuit, you would, you would finalize it with, uh, with solid wire as opposed to the flexible jumper wire. The, uh, the way these breadboard works, like I, I mentioned earlier, was the, the plus rail is common all the way across the top with a negative rail below it and the same here. And in the middle here, all these conjunctions, they are, uh, here we go, uh, if you have the integrated circuit, it will straddle like that and then go into the pins. And now you, uh, these are connected uh, vertically from top to bottom. So now you can connect components to different legs and create the circuit that you want. Uh, the, uh, the TAs will be talking more about this in detail uh, in the lab. And that's it. So this is the super fun upgraded electronics kits from Eligo.